Hey everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Hope y'all had a great weekend out there. I certainly did. I uh, just got back from Pensacola a little while ago. Went down to uh, see a friend, meet a friend that I haven't seen in about 20 years. And we just uh, had a quick lunch, sat and talked. And uh, yeah, I just had a real good time. And I hooked up on some mangoes. Got some Atalfa mangoes and got some uh, Kent mangoes. I haven't had any Kent mangoes in a while. I also got a nice big piece of jackfruit. So uh, yeah, it was a good trip, good weekend, and uh, ready for a brand new week. Uh, today I want to talk about how I'm feeling better than ever on my high raw food diet and why and how I'll improve. Uh, guys, I do videos every day, so if you are not already subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you go down and hit that subscribe button now. Then be sure you click on the little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel. Uh, feeling better than ever. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so in some ways it's just, I look back, I, I was, you know, I, I think back, um, when I was in the car, I was reflecting back on the conversation I had with my friend, you know, and she was interested and I was telling her, you know, about kind of my evolution and how I came about this and years leading up to this and all that kind of stuff and how, um, you know, I've moved along and how it's been after a couple of years, I felt different. After a few more years, I learned a few more things, felt a little bit better. So I feel like uh, all throughout the seven years, I've kind of, it's all been learning. You know, it's all like, it's, I, I like to think of my, I like to try to uh, mimic artificial intelligence, just constantly be updating. You know, my brain takes in new information. I apply it to myself. Ooh, do I think this works? Does it resonate with me? Try it out for a little bit. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Apply it. But I, li I think like I've constantly been upgrading, constantly been uh, tweaking, constantly been seeing little things I could do to make myself feel better. Um, now, as you know, I, when I first started this lifestyle, I was living in Costa Rica. Uh, a lot of the time for, let's see, I've been here now. So I was five years uh, raw in Costa Rica and for about, I don't know, three, three and a half of years of that time, I was, um, or no, no, no. Yeah, for about three and a half years of the time I've been raw vegan, I was living at the beach. Now, when I was living at the beach, I was fully raw. You know, except I'd come to the States every three months, visit my mom, do a V, you know, get my visa, uh, fixed, uh, the way you have to do it, it's not getting, that's neither here nor there, but, and then I'd eat some there, but you know, it was so hot at the beach, I had so much fruit, I had so much everything, that yeah, I was fully raw, there was no trying to be fully raw, it was like, I didn't even have much to cook on, all I had was a little two burner, uh, eye, two eyes to cook on, so, you know, I felt good when I was at the beach. You go go back and look at my videos. I wasn't lying. I wasn't like pretending. I wasn't faking. I felt good. But since I've been back in the States, especially within this last year, um, I've put weight on. I've gotten my body back up to about 165 and I just feel better. I feel more grounded. I feel more solid. Um, I, I don't know. I just, I feel better. I feel like, okay, you did. You pushed it forward a little bit. And I think the main reason for that is not necessarily this cooked versus raw, raw versus cooked. Oh, you feel, or do you feel, oh, do you feel so much better because you're eating cooked? It's still coming back to calories, you know? And I think when, uh, I was not eating as much cooked food here, or I was like, okay, I just using it as a very last resort. I wasn't getting the calories that I needed to get in to be able to put some weight back on because I lost I lost weight from the very, like I've been clawing my way back ever since I first started this lifestyle because I you know that's why I'm always kind of a little bit skeptical when people are basically they're not even eating they're living on fast and they're doing this and that and they're not like as soon as I came to the raw thing my weight just started dropping. Weight just started dropping off of me. Um, and But also, too, you know, where there was that learning curve, learning how much you needed to eat. And after a while, I kind of, you know, the ship kind of righted itself, and I wasn't losing weight. But I had always worked on gaining some of that weight back, and it was just, you know, being fully raw, being low-fat fully raw. It was just, you know, it was tough to do that. Uh, Fast forward to me being in the States and, pro you know, the last year, um, I was eating, well, no, I was eating it the first year. I've been in the States two years now. I was eating some more cooked, you know, 
the first year I was in the States. But now it's just like part of the, like I'm going to get a certain amount of food in per day. Cooked, raw, whatever. I'm going to get a certain amount of food in per day. I want my food to be as clean as possible. That I'm The calories that I'm taking in to be as clean as possible. I want them to have as much nutrition in them as possible. So, you know, for some of you that may be seeing me for the first time or haven't heard me ever talk about the cooked food, is most of the time my default is sweet potatoes. I find sweet potatoes are the easiest cooked food for me to digest. I hardly feel any difference than when I'm eating 100% raw on the sweet potatoes as opposed to other cooked food that I will eat from time to time, but I can tell like, yep, that's not the optimal right there. So what I've learned to do and what I'm doing just on that, like I say, I use the sweet potatoes. I use cooked food. I use all of my food to how can I get to feeling even better than I am right now. It's like being greedy with this health thing. It's like, well, I got a little bit. I want some more. I want some more. Now, how can I feel even a little bit better? You know, two years ago, once, once again, go back through my videos. You'll see me going back three, four, five, six years talking about, I feel better than I've ever felt in my life. A year later, I've probably said in another video, I feel better than I've ever felt in my life. Three years ago, I said it because it's true. I keep learning things. I keep learning things about myself. I keep learning things about my body. I always have an open mind. I don't give, I don't give, pardon my language, I don't give a shit about this raw food diet or this raw world. In fact, I've totally kind of cut myself off from that. I don't, I don't take in content other than the books I read, uh, the, the resources I have, or things that I actually go searching out. But I really don't care about that conversation anymore. For me, it's like, okay, how can I keep going forward? What methods will keep me going forward? And that, I feel better. I feel more grounded. I mean, you know, there was just too much of this flighty sometimes because there was a number of days when I was in Costa Rica eating fully raw or even trying to do it 100% fully raw all the time here or some even, just even other things. It didn't even have to necessarily do with the raw. But I, once I came to an understanding that like, look, for me to feel like I want to feel, I have to be getting an adequate amount of food, not some of the time, but I need it every day. And that's where I used to fall short, is I would, you know, be diligent maybe for a week, two weeks, three weeks, and I'd be making sure that I'm getting close to what I consider the caloric needs I need in a day, about 3,000. But then something would happen or I would just, you know, um, just not feel like eating or something for four or five, six days. And I would notice, boom, I'd lose some weight again and I'd get kind of light and I'd get a little bit just not as grounded as I was. And uh, I just feel, like I say, I feel better than I've ever felt in my life right now, um, feeling a little heavier. As I'm, And I just know it's going to even get better. Now, how's it going to get better and how's it going to improve? Well, I'm already feeling a little bit better just being back exercising in the gym you know, the last couple of weeks I've been easing back in. Oh, and once again, too, I'm not going, I'm not like all of a sudden, just because I'm talking about getting back to exercise and talking about the gym, the gym, the gym, this, I'm not a gym rat. I'm just trying to build back, you know, I wasn't in there for 10 months, 11 months. I just want to get back in there and build back up a certain amount, adequate amount of strength. But that's not going to be my only method, my only means of exercise, of moving my body. Um, hopefully, as I'm even feeling better and better, it seems like each week I feel just a tinier bit better um, with being able to bend over and stuff. I'd like to get back to yoga, but that's neither here nor there. So, how I'm going to improve in this next year, I was kind of deconstructing what I'm doing and thinking, okay, where do we, how, what's the plan from here on out? And I want to even up that nutrition a little bit more. So for the next year, focus is going to be on, like I say, making sure you get your adequate calories every day, volume of food. Sometimes I like to say both of those, calories, volume of food, because I'm not really counting. I just know how much food I need to take in, you know, to I know how much food I need to take in to maintain my weight. I know how much food I need to take in to gain weight. I know how much food I need to take in to lose weight. It's just, it's become almost natural for me. But I won't even double down more on the nutrition. Um, next, if, if I hadn't have gone today, I was going to call my friend down there. Um, I've got a guy that uh, uh, 
I was getting some stuff to grow wheatgrass a couple of years ago, and I haven't done that but once or twice, and uh, came across this guy that has a grow place, and he grows all, you know, he's got equipment for growing inside your house, like, like the basil he has there, the papayas he's growing, it's amazing. But anyhow, uh, earlier in the summer, he had told me a little setup he could make where I could get greens. So I'm going to get a couple of these little uh, things. There, it's basically it's a bucket. It's a it's a hydroponic system. It, I, I'm not even going to try to explain it, but I'm going to get a couple of these setups. They're fairly inexpensive. They'll yield a good bit. But I'm going to get those greens back up to or up to where I feel like they should be because I feel like if I can if I can have a good solid year of you know eating an adequate amount of food every day keeping it clean, not going high fat, uh, keeping, you know, just a good adequate amount of fat in there, um, eating the sweet potatoes when I need some cook to get the calories in there. But I need those greens. I need those greens back in my life. I'm not getting enough greens and I want more of them. So that's something I'm going to focus on, on even like Every bite I get over the next year, I want there to be as much nutrition in there as possible without becoming a fanatic about it. I don't ever want to be a fanatic about any of this stuff. When anybody gets too serious with me uh, on any of the food stuff, I just lose interest because um, I think it's defeating the purpose when we get all serious and you know, analytical, too analytical with our food. And hey, you know, playing devil's advocate, you could say all of us that even are about this raw food thing or plant-based or talking about this kind of stuff are a little too focused on food. But uh, I'm really not as focused on my food as I am, you know, obviously I share, I have a channel, I have an Instagram that I'm active on every day. So a lot of it is not like I'm obsessed constantly thinking about food. I just show food more than what everybody else does. Everybody eats every day, pretty much. So I just, you know, like I say, from sharing what I'm doing and trying to help other people, you see mine a little bit more. But anyhow, just kind of rambling today. I'm a little bit tired after that uh, drive in the afternoon back. It was kind of bright and sunny in the car. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Have a great week, and we'll see you tomorrow. Love you guys. Peace.